the Wind Pay Fantasy Novels series. Coiling Dragon also known as Pan Long, by I E Tomatoes. Please support the author by buying the original book on the link below. Book 13. Jebardos, Chapter 28, Mount Copper Gong. Within that restaurant in Hess City, everyone was in a state of shock. The mighty Lord Ridger, in front of that youngster with the straw hat, had seemed like an infant, unable to resist at all. He had been killed directly. And, from the looks of it, the youngster with the straw hat listened to the orders of the seated young man. That meant the seated young man's power was even greater. They, Belita drew near to her father, staring at Linley and Bibi in astonishment. Linley was frowning. My lord, you called? The silver-haired man was in a completely nervous state right now. He understood that if Linley and Bibi wanted to kill him, he would definitely die. My boss told you to get over here. Bibi stared at him while barking. The silver-haired man's body trembled slightly, and then he immediately walked over to the table, respectfully awaiting Linley's words. My name is Sati, Sadi. The silver-haired man honestly offered his name. You come from the Jebardo's planar prison? Linley said calmly. While asking, Linley utilized his gore dream, causing the ordinary people in the restaurant to be unable to hear their words. Yes, my lord. Sati was quite obedient. After all, Ridge's body lay there on the ground. Sati understood that if either of these two fiends in front of him were unhappy, they could kill him at any moment. Right now, all he could do was to meekly accede to whatever they wanted and make them satisfied. Only in such a way would he be able to preserve his life. Linley's eyes grew sharp. He stared at Sati, growling, I ask you, who is this Lord of Mount Copper Gong? The Lord of Mount Copper Gong. This was someone who made Linley feel concern. Just then, before dying, Ridger had said that his teacher was the Lord of Mount Copper Gong. Someone capable of being the teacher of a prime saint should be an extraordinary figure. Since they killed Ridger, Linley had to get a clear understanding of who this Lord of Mount Copper Gong was. Teacher? Sati was slightly astonished. Linley nodded slightly. We don't know teacher's name either. Because he lives at Mount Copper Gong, we all call him as the Lord of Mount Copper Gong. When mentioning the Lord of Mount Copper Gong, his eyes were filled with worship. Teacher is the most powerful expert we have ever seen. Oh? Linley's eyes narrowed into slits. Sati continued, although only twenty years have passed since we fled from the Jebardo's plane a prison back to the Yulan continent, in this period of time, two of the prime saints whom teacher instructed were able to break through and become deities on their own. Sati's eyes were filled with respect. Someone who can help us break through our bottlenecks. How can we not venerate a mighty expert such as him? What? No matter how calm he was, Linley's face couldn't help but change. Even the nearby Bibi couldn't believe it. Did you just say that those two people who recently became deities did so due to having received instruction from your teacher? Bottlenecks, being bottlenecks, were hard to break through. Even someone as powerful as Lord Beirut, knowing that Disri and the others were at a bottleneck, only told them to have more faith in themselves. He didn't say anything else. Someone capable of instructing a prime saint in how to break through a bottleneck was definitely an expert who had a terrifying mastery of the laws. What level expert is this Lord of Mount Copper Gong? Linley immediately asked. I don't know. Sati shook his head. However, teacher's two brothers should be gods. Linley and Bibi exchanged glances. 
his brothers were gods? Then the Lord of Mount Copper Gong should at least be a god as well. I've created trouble. Bibi hung his head as he looked at Linley. He had killed the disciple of such a powerful expert. No matter how brash Bibi could be, he understood the magnitude of the trouble he had caused. Linley laughed consolingly. Bibi, it seems our journey will have to be cut short. After having offended such a powerful foe, they had to hurry back to Dragon Blood Castle. Right. Bibi nodded. My lord, no need to worry. Hearing Lily and Bibi's words, Sati understood what Bibi was thinking. He hurriedly said, My lords, please don't worry. You killed Ridger, but nobody will come make trouble for you. Linley and Bibi were somewhat startled. Oh? Linley looked at him, waiting for him to explain. Bibi also said, Sati, can it be that your teacher won't show his face for his disciples? Sati hurriedly said, My lords, what sort of status does the Lord of Mount Copper Gong have? Ridger and I are only prime saints. How can we become his disciples? But you refer to him as teacher? Bibi was puzzled. Sati laughed self-mockingly, my lords, although we refer to the Lord of Mount Copper Gong as teacher, that's just how we address him. The Lord of Copper Mountain has never acknowledged us as his disciples. Linley frowned. Explain in detail. Sati explained, my lords, we all fled from the planar prison. And then, we came to live here. Only, afterwards, we heard that an ultimate expert lived in Mount Copper Gong who would occasionally give guidance to those trainees who came to him for advice. There are many experts who go pay their respects to the Lord of Mount Copper Gong. Ridger and I are just two of the many. Only, because we received some tutelage from the Lord of Mount Copper Gong, we respectfully address him as teacher. Only, the Lord of Mount Copper Gong himself has never acknowledged us as his disciples. If we truly had a teacher such as him, in the plain of prison, we wouldn't have been in such bad straits. Lily and Bibi instantly understood. You really are shameless. Bibi snickered. Sati laughed awkwardly. This Lord of Mount Copper Gong really is a miraculous figure. Linley sighed in praise. An expert like this would actually give tutelage to those who came to him for instruction. At the very least, he wasn't the selfish, self-centered type. Just now, you said that those two who had become deities on their own recently did so thanks to the tutelage of the Lord of Mount Copper Gong? Linley still felt that this was unbelievable. Right. Sati sighed. This is absolutely certain. One of them is someone I know. How can we possibly not pay a visit to a miracle worker like this? Bibi, what do you think? Linley looked at Bibi, who nodded in agreement. At the same time he turned to look at Sati. Hey, where is Mount Copper Gong? Mount Copper Gong is in the southern regions of the Holy Union. It is an area which has been taken over by many magical beasts. Teacher lives within a large mountain there, Sati explained. The distance from here is roughly 2000 kilometers. My lords, if you want to go, I can guide you there. It isn't just prime saints who beg teacher for guidance. There are deities as well. Linley felt all the more amazed in his heart. This Lord of Mount Copper Gong definitely was an extraordinary figure. Linley all the more wanted to see him now. Only, if my lords go, my lords need to be mentally prepared. Teacher only provides guidance if he feels like it, Sati explained. On our trip to Mount Copper Gong, we might have to wait a long time before being lucky enough to see teacher. If we can meet him, we shall. If we can't, then it'll just be an excursion. Linley laughed calmly. Let's go. Let's go now. Bibi was somewhat impatient. Sati said meekly, 
It is my honor to be able to lead the way for you too, my lords. Immediately, Sati led the way out of the restaurant, while Linley and Bibi followed. Linley released the gore dream which had prevented others in the restaurant from hearing their conversation. The two of you. Belita hurriedly chased afterwards, wanting to express things, but she was blocked by Linley's gore dream. Whoosh. Three shadows blurred through the air, quickly disappearing into the southern horizons. Who were those three experts? Even a prime saint like Lord Ridger was killed in one blow. Only now did the people in the restaurant dare to speak, while at the same time, they raised their head, staring skywards in a vain attempt to catch a vestigial glimpse of Linley and the others. That youngster was too powerful. He was able to seize a saint's blade with his two fingers. I think that young man was even more powerful. Everyone in the bar began to excitedly chat, while Belita stared towards the horizon, towards where Linley's group had vanished. She, Belita, could do nothing but remember this kindness in her heart. Mount Copagon was actually not too far away from Linley's hometown of Washan Township. It was also considered within the domain of the magical beasts. Only, with the experts present in this location, the magical beasts did not dare to draw near. This is Mount Coppergon. In midair, his ropes fluttering in the wind, Sati pointed down towards a mountain. Next to him was Linley and Bibi. It seems there isn't that many people present. Linley was rather surprised. Logically speaking, based on what he understood, if many experts came to pay visits to the Lord of Mount Coppergong, there should be many people here. However, Linley, staring down into the manor, didn't see many people at all. Sati explained, Teacher's two brothers have informed us that after receiving tutelage from Teacher, we cannot come disturb Teacher again for the next ten years. Oh! Linley understood. After all, there were only so many experts in the Yulan continent. Not too many knew of the existence of the Lord of Mount Coppergong. Given they weren't to disturb him again for ten years after being given tutelage, no wonder there weren't many people here. Let's head down. Linley was the first to fly down. The residence of the Lord of Mount Coppergong was a secluded, quiet manor. Linley and the others, upon arriving in front of the manor, couldn't help but sigh in amazement. This residence. Linley sensed that this residence emanated a powerful earth elemental essence aura. Sati revealed a hint of worship in his eyes as well. This residence was created from earth elemental essence, formed into a solid whole. If you look at the walls, you won't see a single crack or seam. To be able to easily control earth elemental essence to create such a manner is truly incredible. You don't understand. Linley's face was very solemn. Oh? Sati stared towards Linley in astonishment. Linley stared solemnly at the residence in front of him. Sati was only a prime saint, and he didn't train in the laws of the earth. Naturally, he didn't understand how truly incredible this residence formed from earth elemental essence was. Linley, however, did. Be it the sacred earth guard armor or the forbidden level spell which uses earth elemental essence to create the world protector, there is a limit to how long the creations will last for. Linley could hardly believe it. He believed that since someone had created this manor, they couldn't possibly go to the trouble of recreating it every hour. In addition, the color of the material the earth elemental essence has formed into. Linley stared at the ancient looking, plain black material of the residence. It is the color of adamantine. Linley knew that upon reaching the deity level, once a person used the sacred earth guard armor, it would be at the adamantine level. An adamantine level sacred earth guard armor couldn't be maintained for too long. And yet, this person used it to create an entire manor. 
someone came again. The gate to the manor creaked open, and a bald, muscular man glanced outwards. That sooty immediately bowed respectfully. I pay my respects to Lord Burgess, Bodges. You again? The bald man frowned. Oh, that's right. Last time was ten years ago. After finishing, the bald man looked at Linley and Bibby, his eyes carrying a hint of curiosity as he weighed Linley and Bibby for a long while. Linley and Bibby both bowed modestly as well. My third brother is inviting you two in. As for you, go rest somewhere else. The bald man said. Congratulations to the two of you. Sutty wasn't angry at all. Instead, he congratulated Linley and Bibby. Not just anyone who came to visit the Lord of Mount Coppergong would be received. Sutty immediately bowed, then left by himself. Mr. Burgess? Linley spoke. I really don't know what's going on, but my third brother wishes to meet you too. Your luck is excellent. The bald man burst his lips while bringing Linley and Bibi into the manor. Listen up. When you see my third brother, you need to be a bit more respectful. Linley and Bibi exchanged a glance, then laughed as they glanced round at their surroundings. This manor, completely formed from earth elemental essence, gave a very comfortable to live in aura. In addition, in the inner courtyard of this manor, there were two seemingly mild-mannered middle-aged men engaging in chatter and laughter. I wonder which one of the two is the Lord of Mount Coppergong? Linley's gaze rested upon these two people. Book 13. Jebardo's, Chapter 29, Elemental Training. Of the three people in the manor, aside from that bald man, Burgess, the other two appeared rather amiable. Only, the young man in the middle was rather eye-catching. He had a head of long black hair, but his eyebrows were crimson red. Third brother, those two you want to meet are here, the bald man said as he walked in. That man with the crimson eyebrows looked towards Linley and Bibby. His gaze paused momentarily on Bibby, and then he said with a laugh, The two of you, take a seat first. As he spoke, he pointed at the nearby seats in front of him. Thank you, my lord. Linley and Bibby both said courteously, and then they sat down on the chairs in front of the man with the crimson eyebrows. Big brother. Second brother, you two can go about your business. I'll have a private chat with these two young fellows. The man with the crimson eyebrows said. The bald man and the other middle-aged man clearly were very obedient towards their third brother. They both nodded then departed. The man with the crimson eyebrows looked towards Linley and Bibby. Laughing, he said, you can address me as Mr. Leyland. If you have come to my residence because there's something the two of you need from me, go ahead and tell me. Mr. Leylin? Linley and Bibi were both rather surprised. Hey, doesn't this Lord of Mount Coppergong normally not divulge his name to people? Mr. Leylin? Bibi called out in surprise. What? Leylin looked at Bibi, puzzled. My. My boss is named Linley. Bibi was quite amazed. Linley? Mr. Leylin was amazed for a moment as well before recovering. Prior to this, Linley hadn't noticed this point himself. But now, he realized. Linley and Leylin, weren't they just the same thing, except swapped around? You really are named Linley? This Lord Leylin was very surprised. 
Lin Li nodded and laughed. Yes, Mr. Leilin. My full name is Lin Li Barach. This Mr. Leilin calmed down as well, laughing loudly, ha ha. What a coincidence. I'm the opposite of you. Leilin is my clan name. My full name is Zacharias, Jack Eliassi, Leilin. It seems we really do have a bit in common. Indeed. Linley felt that this was quite the coincidence as well. After this discovery, Linley was no longer reticent in front of this Lord Leilin. Mr. Leilin, I have come due to an issue regarding training. Linley said. Virtually everyone who comes looking for me does so because of training issues. Leilin pursed his lips and laughed. Only, let me give you advance warning. All I can do is give you some guidance. In addition, I am only skilled in the elemental laws of fire and the elemental laws of earth. I would most likely only be able to say a few words regarding the other elemental laws. Linley laughed. The laws of the earth? Actually, just from looking at this manner, Linley knew that this lord of Mount Copper Gong definitely trained in the laws of the earth. Speak! Leilin laughed. Linley explained his frustrations and concerns regarding his bottleneck. Mr. Leilin, I am currently training in the throbbing pulse of the world of the laws of the earth. Only, I have already reached the level of two fused waves of the throbbing pulse of the world, but no matter what I try, I am unable to reach the final step of fusing everything into one. You train in the throbbing pulse of the world? The Lord of Mount Copper Gong, Leilin, raised his eyebrows. It seems your talent is quite excellent. However, if you have reached a bottleneck, there's nothing I can do to help you break through. Leilin said with a laugh. Linley couldn't help but feel astonished. Didn't this Lord of Mount Copper Gong help two experts break through and become deities through his guidance? You aren't able to help. Bibi said. Didn't you help others though? Leilin laughed, rumors grow more and more ridiculous with each telling. Nobody can help someone break through a bottleneck. At most, I can just give you one or two pointers. Linley's eyes couldn't help but light up. If Leilin was willing to give him some pointers and allow him to gain some insights, that would be enough. Linley, you want to train in the throbbing pulse of the world. For now, let's stop discussing that. Instead, let's talk about the six types of profound mysteries inherent to the laws of the earth. Leilin said with a calm laugh. Six types of profound mysteries? Linley was somewhat surprised. From Beirut, Linley had heard the hypothetical number of profound mysteries within an elemental law as being nine. Right. The laws of the earth contain in total six different profound mysteries. Leilin laughed. I'm not sure about the other laws, but for the earth, fire, water, and wind laws, these four elemental laws, the laws of the earth, fire, and water all contain six profound mysteries each, while the elemental laws of the wind have a bit more, containing nine. Leyland spoke leisurely but with complete certainty, causing others to unconsciously believe him. Linley nodded slightly. The laws of the earth contain six profound mysteries. The most basic is the profound mystery of the essence of the earth. Leyland said. The profound mysteries of the essence of the earth? Linley frowned. Elemental essence was present everywhere. It should be very common. The laws were elemental laws. So how could one of the profound mysteries be the profound mysteries of the essence of the earth? Linley. Leyland spoke. Whenever he spoke Linley's name, he couldn't help but laugh. You should be aware that ordinary magic spells include the earth puppet, world protector, and sacred earth guard armor type spells, right? Linley nodded. Previously. When Linley was young, in the air above Washan Township, he had watched those two saints do battle. 
that Grand Magus Saint had utilized the Forbidden Level spell, World Protector. Regardless of whether it is the World Protector or the Sacred Earth Guard Armor, they all are considered a very basic way of using the profound mysteries of the essence of the Earth. Leilin explained slowly, the essence of the earth can transform into countless shapes. You can use it to create a human figure, a magical beast figure, or even a set of armor. The essence of the earth, in the late stages of mastery, represents a deep level of proficiency in utilizing elemental essences. For example, my mana. Leilin pointed at his mana. Linley, look at this mana. In terms of toughness, it is comparable to adamantine. In addition, it will exist in perpetuity. Tell me, how did I accomplish this? This? Linley was very puzzled about this to begin with. But now, Linley somewhat understood that this manner in front of him was most likely formed after reaching the level of complete mastery in the essence of the earth. Linley, experts of the laws of the earth should have the most powerful defenses. Leilin's eyes, beneath those crimson eyebrows, were shining. Amongst them, the most powerful physical defenses. Rely on the essence of the earth, while the most powerful spiritual defenses rely on the throbbing pulse of the world. Linley nodded in agreement. He himself used spiritual energy to form a spiritual pulse guard defense. The laws of the earth have six profound mysteries. If you want to master any of them, your best option is to start with the basics. Finish mastering the essence of the earth. It is the foundation. Leilin advised, the profound mysteries of the essence of the earth is the best way one can gain a deeper understanding into the elemental essences. Once your understanding of the elemental essences reaches a certain level of depth, then it will become much easier for you to gain insights into the other profound mysteries of the laws. Linley somewhat understood now. The final, omega wave of the throbbing pulse of the world is extremely hard to achieve. I'm not able to provide any direct advice, but I imagine that if you can focus and meditate on the profound mysteries of the essence of the earth, Perhaps it will be of benefit to you in breaking through with regards to the throbbing pulse of the world. Leilin laughed. Thank you, Mr. Leilin. Linley's heart was filled with gratitude. Everything relies on you yourself. Leilin laughed. Then, how about this? Linley, take a close look. Leilin looked into the air. Suddenly, in the air above, Earth elemental essence began to gather. Linley raised his head to watch as well. An explosive surge of earth elemental essence was rapidly condensing, and even began to emit a faint rumbling sound. An enormous earthen cloud appeared in the sky above Mount Copper Gong, and then this cloud of earth transformed into an earth-colored python that was a hundred meters long. Hiss. The python seemed to be real, occasionally revealing its fangs. This enormous python which had appeared in midair truly did cause Linley to feel shock in his heart. Is this the result of mastery in the essence of the earth? Linley secretly wondered. Now, take a close look. Leilin said in a low shout. Linley immediately focused his attention while at the same time, spreading out his divine sense to carefully study every single movement of this enormous python. This hundred meter long coiling python suddenly whipped out its tail in a fury, its thick, long serpentine tail lashing out like the crack of a whip. Rumble. The whipping tail attack of the python actually created spatial ripples that were visible to the naked eye. The spatial ripples were simply too great. Every single ripple caused space to crack. Instantly, in the air above Mount Copper Gong, the rippled, cracked space began to reveal itself, appearing then disappearing. Only, as the spatial ripples continued to spread outwards, the strength naturally began to decrease. Despite that, 
However, the nearby trees that were impacted by these spatial ripples were instantly transformed into dust. This? Is this the throbbing pulse of the world? Linley was astonished. This is the throbbing pulse of the world at mastery. Leilin laughed as he looked at Linley. The throbbing pulse of the world can be utilized through creatures formed from elemental essence? Linley was very surprised. Why not? Leilin laughed calmly as he spoke. And this is just the throbbing pulse of the world and the essence of the earth used separately. If I were to fuse the two of them and then use them, most likely this Mount Copper Gong would no longer exist. Linley's heart was filled with amazement. He knew that the profound mysteries of the elemental laws could fuse with each other. So powerful. The nearby Bibi let out a sigh of praise as well, then he looked at Leilin in confusion. Mr. Leilin, just now, you said that of the earth, fire, water, and wind elemental laws, only the elemental laws of the wind have nine profound mysteries. The other three only have six profound mysteries. Then doesn't that mean, that it will be very hard to train in the elemental laws of the wind? No. Leilin let out a sigh. The numbers might be different, but the total difficulty level is roughly the same. For example, the throbbing pulse of the world and the gravitational field profound mysteries of the laws of the earth are all extremely hard to learn. In order to reach mastery in either of the two, one must spend tremendous effort, have some good luck, and also occasional flashes of insight. Linley, first train in the essence of the earth. Perhaps it will bring you some unexpected surprises. Leilin laughed. Linley nodded slightly. Linley knew that the essence of the earth was fairly easy to pick up. After all, in the past, most of his magic was based off of controlling elemental essences. Mr. Leilin, might I ask if in the future, I can come again to ask for your aid? Linley asked. Of course you can. So long as I remain here at Mount Copper Gong, you can come find me. Leilin said. Linley could hear Leilin's unspoken meaning. Mr. Leilin, can it be that you are going to leave? Leilin nodded and sighed. Indeed. In the not too distant future, I will indeed leave this place. After speaking, Leilin seemed to have thought of something. Letting out a sigh, he no longer spoke. And then, Linley and Bibi thus settled down within Mount Copper Gong while sending a message via divine sense to the people in Dragon Blood Castle. Normally, they quietly trained here at Mount Copper Gong. While training in the profound mysteries of the essence of the earth, Linley slowly began to discover the benefits to training in the essence of the earth. Within a quiet courtyard, Sadista once more spread out his divine sense to search for Linley. He couldn't help but frown, his eyes containing a hint of anger. This Linley is still together with that Godita rat. Hem. And this mountain actually has two other gods? Given Sadista's power, he could easily discover those two gods. Just gods. Sadista didn't care about them at all. But it seems we still need to wait for the right chance. Sadista was extremely patient. Without complete certainty, he wouldn't send Anris to attack. After all, his number one priority was still the treasures within the necropolis of the gods. But it was very strange. That lord of Mount Copper Gong, Leilin, lived on the mountain with his two brothers. However, Sadista was only able to discover those two gods. He didn't discover the presence of that third person, Leilin. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the new updates of your favorite audiobooks. Please support the author by buying the original books in the description. Love and peace.
WinPay.